How to Conquer Your Fears and Face Any Challenge Fear is one of the most terrible things, and there is a simple reason for that. That is because your fears limit what you feel you can accomplish. Your fears prevent you from doing the things you want to do. They make you second-guess yourself, and they prevent you from taking chances. That, in turn, means that fears put restrictions on you, and they go as far as to limit your freedom. So the question is, how can you destroy fear and face whatever challenge you choose? This presentation will attempt to provide you with some answers. Be willing to fail. It is not a brave man or woman who believes they cannot fail. That is a foolish one. Rather, it is a brave person who knows they can fail, but is willing to live with that possibility. This is the central philosophy of Stoicism in a nutshell. The notion that you might fail, but that that is okay. Once you accept this possibility and realize that you can and will survive, it liberates you to try new things and to deal with the consequences when they come. Love the challenge. Similarly, it also pays to revel in the challenge. You don't fail until you stop trying. In the meantime, everything else is just another challenge, another obstacle. Think how dull life would be if everything were easy. The reality is that our brains and our bodies are designed to grow. They love challenge because this stimulates that growth and gives us a chance to better ourselves. So when your boss is giving you a hard time, consider it a test of your resolve. When you are struggling with debt, think of it as a challenge to earn the money you need fast. Face your fears. Tim Ferriss describes a process that allows a person to come to terms with their fears and to face them. This is called fear setting, and it involves writing down all the things you are afraid of on a piece of paper, and then writing down how you deal with each scenario and what the worst outcome of each case would be. So, if you are afraid of changing jobs, then maybe your fear stems from the fact that you might not like the new job or that you might not be able to do it. But how likely is that, really? You managed with the last one. You wouldn't have gotten the job if your employer didn't think you capable. And if that happened, wouldn't you just change jobs again? For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.